Hi, this is Peter from Anatomy Zone and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the anatomy of the posterior cranial fossa. So I've removed the parietal bones and we're looking from a superior view at the cranial base. The posterior cranial fossa is the largest and deepest of the cranial fossae and is made up mainly of the occipital bone but is also comprised of parts of the sphenoid and temporal bones. In terms of the boundaries of the posterior cranial fossa, anteriorly in the midline is the dorsum celli and the clivus. The clivus is this bone that slopes up from the foramen magnum. I've removed a few bones and rotated to a lateral view, so you can appreciate the sloping angulation of the clivus and its relationship to the dorsum celli of the sphenoid bone anteriorly. Anterolaterally, the posterior cranial fossa is separated from the middle cranial fossa by the superior border of the petromastoid part of the temporal bone. The lateral boundary of the posterior cranial fossa is formed from parts of the petromastoid part of the temporal bone and small parts of the occipital bone. I've just rotated the model 180 degrees to look posteriorly towards the internal surface of the occipital bone and we can see the posterior aspect of the posterior cranial fossa, which includes the squamous part of the occipital bone to the level of the transverse groove. Its main contents are the cerebellum, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. Let's take a look now at some of the key features and foramina. We'll take a look at the structures that pass through the openings of the posterior cranial fossa in a separate tutorial. In this tutorial, I just want you to try and orientate yourself to some of the landmarks and locations of key features. Looking again at a superior view, this large opening here is the foramen magnum. This is the deepest part of the posterior cranial fossa and is surrounded by the basilar, lateral and squamous parts of the occipital bone. The spinal cord passes through the foramen magnum to become the brainstem, and there are a few other structures such as the vertebral arteries which also pass through. Between the basilar part of the occipital bone and the petrous part of the temporal bone is a groove for the inferior petrosal sinus. Lateral to this on either side, within the petrous part of the temporal bone, there is a small opening called the internal auditory meatus, which is an oval foramen which transmits the facial and vestibulocochlear nerves. Inferior to this is a large opening called the jugular foramen. The internal jugular vein and three cranial nerves pass through this opening. Just medial to the jugular foramen is the jugular tubercle. If we follow this inferiorly, we find the hypoglossal canal deep within the posterior cranial fossa just above the foramen magnum. As the name suggests, this little opening transmits the hypoglossal nerve. I'm just going to rotate the model 180 degrees and we'll finish by taking a look at the internal surface of the occipital bone. Running upwards in the midline from the foramen magnum is the internal occipital crest. This ends at the internal occipital protuberance, which is formed in relation to the confluence of venous sinuses. Just for illustration, I've added in the venous sinuses of the brain, and you can see that the confluence of sinuses is where the transverse, sagittal, and straight sinuses meet. We'll learn about the venous drainage of the brain in a later tutorial where we'll revisit this in more detail. On either side of the internal occipital crest are concave impressions which are called the cerebellar fossae. These accommodate the cerebellum. Extending laterally from the internal occipital protuberance are grooves formed by the transverse sinuses. So that's the anatomy of the posterior cranial fossa. We've looked at its boundaries and some of its key features, and in previous tutorials we've looked at the anatomy of the anterior and middle cranial fossae. If you've found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.